we now discuss the solution of a problem from the section real analysis and the problem is on sets in bijection with r the set of real numbers this problem appeared in csir national eligibility test held on 26th november 2020 the question is from the section c and it carries 4.75 marks the problem is which of the following sets are in bijection with r the set of real numbers option 1 set of all maps from the set consisting of two elements 0 comma 1 to n option 2 the set of all maps from n the set of natural numbers 2 the set consisting of two elements 0 comma 1 option 3 set of all subsets of n option 4 set of all subsets of r the set of real numbers we recall the following the cardinality of a set capital a denoted by hash a read it as cardinality of a is defined as it is a measure of the number of elements of the set a two sets a and b are said to be equivalent written as a tilde b read as a equivalent to b if and only if there exists a bijection between them two sets a and b have the same cardinality if and only if a is equivalent to b that is cardinality of a is equal to cardinality of b if and only if a is equivalent to b we first note that the cardinality of natural numbers is e is denoted by lf null and this is to be read as lf null or sometimes lf not the cardinality of r is denoted by c and called continuum and c greater than lf not for a detailed discussion on lf null and continuum please watch the following video the video link is given here and the title was lf null and continuum for net pg students a set a is in bijection with r if and only if cardinality of a is equal to cardinality of r is equal to c because we have to decide which of the given sets are in bijection with r and this will be helpful finally we talk about the number of functions from the from a set capital x to another set capital y is the cardinality of y to the power of cardinality of x that is the cardinality of codomain to the power of cardinality of the domain now we will discuss the four options given to us let's consider option 1 set of all maps from the two element set consisting of 0 comma 1 to n is it in bijection with r that is to be discussed let s1 be the set of all maps from the set consisting of two elements 0 comma 1 to n then cardinality of s1 is equal to the cardinality of the codomain that is cardinality of n to the power of cardinality of the domain that is the cardinality of the set consisting of two elements 0 comma 1 the cardinality of n is lf not cardinality of 0 comma 1 is 2 lf not square 
we have studied in our msc class the set of natural numbers is equivalent to 2 n cross n therefore the cardinality of n is equal to the cardinality of n cross n the cardinality of n cross n is the cardinality of n into cardinality of n so cardinality of n is lf not is equal to lf not multiplied by lf not that is equal to lf not square therefore the cardinality of s1 what we have seen here lf not square is again lf not which is not equal to c in fact alpha lf not is less than c therefore it's not equal to c therefore s1 and r do not have the same cardinality s1 has the cardinality lf not and r has the cardinality c and lf not is not equal to c therefore s1 and r do not have the same cardinality hence s1 is not in bijection with r and option 1 is not true let's get into the second option set of all maps from n the set of natural numbers to the set consisting of two elements 0 1 let s2 be the set of all maps from n to two element set 0, 1 then cardinality of s2 is equal to the cardinality of the codomain that is the cardinality of the set consisting of 0, 1 to the power of cardinality of the domain that is cardinality of n the cardinality of n is lf not and cardinality of 0, 1 is 2 2 power lf not we have r the set of all real numbers is equivalent to the power set of the set of natural numbers they are equivalent therefore the cardinality of r is equal to the cardinality of the power set of n the cardinality of the power set of n is 2 power cardinality of n that is 2 power lf not and this 2 power lf not on the other side the cardinality of r is there c is equal to 2 power cardinality of n is equal to 2 power lf not so therefore the cardinality of s2 is equal to 2 power lf not which we have seen to be equal to c so s2 and r have the same cardinality therefore s2 is in bijection with r thus the option 2 is true option 3 set of all subsets of n let s3 be the set of all subsets of n therefore s3 is equal to the power set of n therefore cardinality of s3 is equal to cardinality of power set of n the cardinality of power set of n which we have already seen 2 power cardinality of n is equal to 2 power lf not is equal to c thus s3 and r have the same cardinality hence s3 is in bijection with r thus option 3 is true finally option 4 set of all subsets of r let s4 be the set of all subsets of r s4 is equal to the power set of r that is the cardinality of s4 is equal to the cardinality of power set of r and the cardinality of power set of r is 2 power cardinality of r that is equal to 2 power c we have the cardinality of r is less than strictly the cardinality of power set of r yes that is c is less than 2 power cardinality of r 2 power c so 2 power c is not c 2 power c is greater than c so c is less than 2 power c therefore cardinality of s4 is equal to 2 power c is greater than c thus s4 and r do not have the same cardinality hence 
S4 is not in bijection with R. Thus, the option 4 is not true. Let's see what is our final situation here. Option 1 and 4 are not true. Option 2 and 3 are true. Our final answer is options 2 and 3 are true. So that is the discussion of the solution of the problem from real analysis. It is on the sets which are in bijection with R. And uh, I hope that you have understood the solution of the problem. I wish you all the best. Thank you.